Hey guys, good afternoon. I hope that everybody is having a blessed and amazing Friday. I wanted to come on here and share with you all this crazy revelation that the Lord just, you know, decided to bless me with today. So I hope that you guys are ready. I don't do live on Facebook like ever, so I don't know if anyone is going to show up. But if you do check out the replay, I hope that this blesses you. All right, so earlier today, I was hi how are you doing <laughs> how are you i'm sharing about this revelation that i received earlier today while changing my son's diaper so earlier today i was changing manolito's diaper and manolito is 10 months <laughs> super exciting time in our lives <laughs> well i was changing manolito's diaper and he was not having it you know i took him away from the fun that he was having with his brothers and he was like mom this is not what we're doing right now like i would rather be hanging out with jamari and jameer this whole getting my diaper changed is just not on my agenda and i so get that because there's a lot of things that aren't on my agendas either like there's a lot of things that need to get done that i don't <laughs> that i don't desire to do but they have to be done so, um, I put on Manolito's onesie. I was completely changing him. So not just changing his diaper, but I was also changing his clothes. So I put on a new onesie and he's like, all right, good mom, let's go. Like all I need is a onesie. We just kicking it at the house. And I'm like, no, 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 son. Not only do you need your onesie on right now, but you also need your shorts. You know, I just wanted the full outfit today. So just like Manolito being Manolito, he decided that it would be best for him to kick and scream and complain and roll over. And I was just like, oh my goodness, Jesus, this is a word. How many times in life is God just trying to help get us dressed? But because we don't realize the benefit of us getting dressed and getting our pants on or whatever, that we roll over, we kick and complain, we reach for our friends, we reach for our fun, we reach for these other things when God is like, chill out. You are about to go do whatever it is you want to do, but right now, I got to put your pants on. I got to put your pants on. And it touched me so much because I feel like and many times during my journey, I was, you know, I just, I wasn't content with God's timing and things like when, when am I going to meet my husband or when am I going to have this career where I'm making over a hundred thousand dollars a year before 30? Like when is all of that stuff going to happen? And while I'm over here reaching for fun or, um, things that I desire to do, I'm not realizing that I'm undone. I'm undone. God is like, Marlia, you still need your pants on. You're not ready for that husband right now. You're not ready for that major career or that position. And I don't know, um, I don't know what it is that you're going through. I don't know in what situations in your life that you're kind of like Manolito and you're being impatient. You want to go hang out with your crew. You want to go live your best life. You want to have all of these things that you see everybody else having and doing everything else that you see other people do. I don't know what your story is, but what I'm telling you, and I know this from experience, that we need to just let God finish whatever he's trying to do in that season. Just like Manolito needed to just let me finish changing his diaper and put on his clothes. We all need to chill and have patience and realize that whatever he's doing is best. It's best. There's a reason that you're in your current home. There's a reason. I don't know what it is, but there's a reason you're in your current home. There's a reason that you're working that job. There's a reason that your husband is acting up. There's a reason that your children are acting like you're not their mother. There's a reason. There's a reason for it all. And just know that God doesn't want you out here undone. He doesn't want to promote you or allow you to go run off and do what you want to do without putting you together because you'll find yourself in a worse position than when you started. You know, like, have you ever received any type of increase or any type of elevation and you misused it? Like you got a thousand dollar bonus and then six months later that a thousand dollars is gone and you can't even remember how you spent it. You know, 
So I just, um, thank you, Barbara. I just, I just praise God for that revelation today. Cause I understand there's a whole lot of things right now that I personally, you know, would like to go do, you know, like, all right, Jesus, we got a whole lot of kids. Where's our new house? Where's Manny's new car? Where's my stay at home business? You know, like what, what, what are you doing? And I'm reaching and I'm wanting to do this and have fun and all that other stuff. And he's just like, chill. I promise you're going to get to do that. You're going to, you're going to go play with your friends. You're going to have the husband. You're going to have the multi-million dollar business. You're going to have all of that, but in season and in time. And if you rush that process, when you finally get it, it's all going to fall apart. It's all going to fall apart. So if you learn anything today from Manalito's story, it's just be patient. Know that God does not want you out here looking foolish that whatever he's trying to show you or teach you in this season is only to bless you. He only wants to bless you. Like God really loves you. He wants to bless you in every season of your life. And it might not seem like catching an RTA every day is a blessing, but it is. Because when you get your car, you'll be so, so, so thankful and so grateful. You won't eat in it. You wash it every week. You uh, vacuum it out every two weeks. Like when you get your blessing, you'll be so grateful. Or, oh, I want to get my kids out of Cleveland Public Schools. I want them to go to a better school district. Lord, when are you going to get me this new house or whatever? When you get that new house, if you patiently endure while you're in your current home, you are going to be so much more appreciative. And then the blessing that he's going to give you when you do get your increase. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And people are going to know that it's him when he does it. It's not going to be your strength. It's not going to be in your own doing. They're going to be like, shoot. She serves a mighty, mighty God. And he's always looking out for his daughter. So, um, hey, Selena girl, I miss you. So, yeah, that's it. That's my little rant that Manolito Um, taught me this morning, but let's just be patient and just trust. Even if we don't see it, even if we don't understand it, God is, God is doing it. He's, he's looking out for us when we're not even looking out for ourselves. God is looking out for us and he's so amazing like that. So I hope that you guys have a blessed day. The boys, if anybody wants to know, because I'm a homeschool mom and people are like, what are you doing on live? The boys are currently doing an affirmations worksheet for any, uh, (laughs) thanks sis, for any moms out there that want to get the word of God. Oh, we going to talk about homeschool. Hello, cousin. Cousin. Thank you so much, cuz. Oh, Holly Harrison. Hey, hey, hey. Let me stop. But, um, any, any parent that wants their children to just be more sound or more biblically sound or want them to just believe in themselves or anything that you want them to do. I really believe in the power of affirmations. So right now the boys are doing one a writing assignment. I wrote out affirmations for them on a sheet of paper. They're going to write down, let's just say one of them is, I am confident and create courageous. So they'll write, I am confident and courageous 10 times on a sheet of paper, and then they're going to read it back out loud to me. I am confident and courageous. 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 But what we do in our affirmations, not only do we write them, not only do we say them, but we also visualize it. So my son will see himself as whatever being confident and courageous is to him. And I don't know what he sees in his mind. But for me, if I was doing the confident and courageous meditation, I mean affirmations, I would see myself maybe standing up for my opposition or I would imagine myself going live because I feel like I always look and sound stupid on live and like my heart races and all of that. So I'm confident, courageous, and I would just imagine myself being on live and just talking to people, whether people are viewing or not and stumbling over my words or not stumbling over them, but still getting through it, you know, without quitting. So that's something that the boys are doing right now. And Manalito is sleeping. I know everybody got lives. Oh, I love that. Yes, yes, yes. I know everybody got lives. Y'all got things to do. I'm not going to waste your time anymore. I'm actually about to go do some laundry because I wash clothes and they are in a basket and they need to be put up because we don't have baskets of clean clothes in our house. <laughs> I mean, God, I know what you meant, cuz. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This homeschool is, it's a whole new world, but I absolutely, I, I absolutely love it. Like, I literally am, and this might sound kind of crazy, but I really do control everything that my children are being 
fed all day, every day, what they watch on TV, what they're listening to, what they're saying with their mouths, what they're working on. And people might think, oh my goodness, no, don't, don't control it. Let your children be exposed to whatever. They'll be okay. They'll, no. <laughs> I apologize when my children go out into the world, they will be girded up and just know they will know because a whole lot of us, we stepped out into the world. We didn't really know who we were. So we made decisions, not knowing and all. No, my boys will tell you like, no, nah, that's not happening. I don't believe that. I have my own mind. You're not going to determine who I'm. Anyway, that's a whole nother subject, raising free individuals in America. Peace out, y'all. I really got to go put these clothes up because I don't believe in clothes and baskets longer than 24 hours. Have a wonderful day. Peace.